We have gathered here this afternoon to witness and celebrate as Dane Armfield and Stephanie Branton are joined together in marriage. Are you pumped? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super pumped. It's great. Tonight we're driving straight to the Outer Banks. I'm all asleep. <laughs> Father, we thank you for this special afternoon. Father, this special couple and the opportunity to join with them in celebrating this very special time in their lives. I'm half dressed. Socks. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Father, we would ask from the very outset that you would be glorified in everything that is said and done. Father, we pray that you will guide each one who is participating and you will guide each one who is attending. Father, that you might work not only in Dane's life and Stephanie's life, Father, but in each of our lives. From the moment we started talking, I knew you were the one for me. Whenever I see you or think about you, I can't help but smile because you always make me so happy. I'm so excited and honored to be able to take you as my wife. Using Christ as an example, I promise to love you with an unconditional love, just as he loves the church and gave himself for it. Getting to know you has been the craziest and most wonderful journey of my life. After growing up going to the same camp, having the same friends, and then drifting apart, it has been humbling to see that all of that was part of the Lord's plan. In my life, it seemed like He took some detours and that He didn't know what He was doing. But now with confidence, I can say that trusting Him to lead me to you has been one of the best decisions of my life. As you travel together, never lose sight of the truth that the responsibilities that will be yours can be fulfilled only as you individually and together abide in Christ, the true vine. Dane, I encourage you to lead your wife, nourish and cherish her, to value her, and to lead her in love. Stephanie, God instructs you as Dane's wife to love him, to do him good and not harm. Look to God, who is love, as you seek to love one another by your loving obedience to His directives for marriage. If you've messed up for more than 10 seconds, you realize she's this brilliant, radiant, intelligent, incredible, gorgeous human being. She's the real deal. Her love is abundant and generous. I love your sensitivity towards people's feelings, how easily you put others first without a thought for yourself, and especially how sensitive you are to the prodding of our King and Great Shepherd. I promise to support and encourage you and vow to love you even when it isn't easy or when we don't like each other necessarily. Stephanie, A-E-I-O-N-U. <laughs> That's my vows, right? <laughs> <laughs> I will look to the Lord for guidance and I promise to put your needs ahead of mine. I commit myself to you and promise to always love you and be the best companion I can be. To comfort and care for you in the good times and the bad times in sickness and in health. The compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in loyal love and faithfulness. So I was thinking about how we're called to be like Christ and how that's something that marriage <coughs> symbolizes is Christ and the church. And how you're such a good example of those things already. I soon learned that Dane is just as amazing as Steph. Dane has the same kind heart, loyal sense, and caring demeanor that Steph has. God will be honored and glorified through it all. It's been a joy and a privilege and such an honor, and it always will be, to be your big sister and friend. I love you guys so much. I love both of you, and I wish you a lifetime of happiness. Dane, you may kiss your bride. It is now my great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Dane Armfield. I can honestly say that learning to navigate life with you as my godly leader will be one of life's greatest joys. You are incredibly special to me, and I promise to cherish and treasure you with all my heart.